Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about the subject of is happiness just chemicals in the body? Well, if it were that simple, then, well, it could be just like taking a happiness pill and all of a sudden everything would be good, right? And there are certainly drugs that do do that. But once you've used up all the chemicals in your body, all your dopamine or whatever it is that's giving you that happiness at that current moment, well, guess what? You have a crash because humans, the human brain, is not meant to be happy all the time, 24-7, seven days a week. It just really needs kind of balance. So that's why you can take shortcuts and be happy for a very minute amount of time. But as all shortcuts are, they're just very finite. And you want to reach a point where you can find that balance that creates your happiness. So in order to do that, well, you need to basically find balance within your life, be it for work, be it for personal life, be it for fun things that you do. And I think that if you can also find fulfillment and enjoyment in whatever things you're doing, you will be much happier. It's kind of like taking a job and some people can accept that, that they're just going to have the weekend for that freedom. But giving up 40 hours a week in order to be at a job during your most woke hours, which comes down to Monday through Friday, eight or nine to five or eight to four or nine to six. And by being sad, if you're doing something that's just making you miserable five days a week and you're hoping that you can catch up and find that happiness within those two days of the week and some evenings you're like, oh my God, I got to get back or I got to go to sleep because I want to go back to my job fresh, then you're not going to find that balance. So it's not just chemicals. It's being able to not take the shortcuts so that you can actually have the courage to take on risks, the courage to do the things that will actually make you better, do the things that will actually make you reach that point of happiness within the brain. Because the only reason that drugs actually work with our brain, that those chemicals work with our brain, is the fact that we produce them within our brain. So if a drug can force that part of the brain to produce more of that chemical at that specific moment, then we should be capable of doing that all by ourselves. It's not going to be as easy as popping in a pill, but popping in a pill a bunch of times eventually results in the fact that the pill doesn't work anymore. So you have to anyways have to get to that same point of doing it yourself. We have to give higher and higher doses and you can get addicted and stuff like that. So that's not good. So I say find the balance in life and don't believe that just happiness comes from chemicals because yes, there are chemicals on a scientific point of view, but there's much more down here in the psychological that really makes a big difference to your happiness and your chemicals created within the brain. Okay, that's it. That's all I have to say on the subject. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.